public for which it stands, one nation, under God, individual, with liberty and justice for all. As a Windermere hawk, I promise to practice the Windermere way. I am respectful, responsible, and ready to learn. Mamma Mia, it's March 10th, National Mario Day. Here's some ways you can celebrate National Mario Day. You can just like Mario. Ta-da! You don't have a Mario costume. You, you can just with, you can make one with stuff you already have. Not to me, Mario. You can wear a Mario shirt. Ta da, ta da. Amazing. Or you can wear um Mario pajamas. You can dress like other Mario characters. I'm dressed like Peach. You can draw a picture of Mario. You can play a Mario game. You can read about Mario. You can do a Mario activity book. You can play with Mario toys. I hope you have a great day celebrating Mario. Wednesday. This is the clear winner. This is the clear winner. Gentlemen, welcome to the main event. Which book will be crowned the winner of Windermere March Madness? Let's get ready to rumble. Hawk of the Week. Student Council is proud to announce the Hawk of the Week, and that is. Landon, who is in Miss Beam's fifth grade class. Miss Beam says, Landon is hardworking and kind. He always does his best and asks questions if he doesn't understand. And he takes his time with his work to make sure that he does his best. He is friendly to all his classmates and helpful to his teachers. He is an excellent example of the Windermere Way. Congratulations, Landon, for becoming the Hawk of the Week. Great job. Let's go under the hard hat with Jason and Gabe. Hi, Jason. Hi, Gabe. Hi, Miss Hamilgarden. Where have you been? Ah, oh, you guys, it's been really cold. 
That's no excuse. We have to work in it. You should come out too. <laughs> well, I can see that you've made a lot of progress. You guys have, have a really huge to-do list over here. Look at that. How is the to-do list coming? Are we on time and on budget? Of course. <laughs> Absolutely. What are we going to see today? Uh, more concrete's been poured, the walls are built, there's drywall up, the drywall finishing is going on to make all the seams nice and smooth. There's a bunch of duct work and electrical in the walls and ceilings. It's looking really good, guys. Got some windows in, we got temporary protection, we're fully enclosed in the building. We got heat going so we can finish the walls. Brick is installed. You said heat, I'm in. <laughs> here and then over here in these small smaller areas these these are small group rooms we have and back here in the corner that's where the is rooms are going to be where the concrete block is and then across the hallway there are two more classrooms that are also divided by the other end door we've got one here one on the other side. Whoa, I didn't realize our walls were gonna be purple, Jason. No, that's just the color of the drywall. Remember we talked about this earlier, this is just what goes on to make it smooth. And then everything, this is a sheet that's this wide and where they come together, there's a the little bubble in there. So they put this across to make it nice and smooth. So when we paint, you won't even be able to tell where they were. It'll look like one big piece. Whoa, what are these, bionic legs? These are drywall stills. So this is what the drywall finishers use. We'll, we'll step on here so they can finish the top of the drywall board. It's kind of like what you see the clown wear at a fair. So guys, is this what our school's gonna look like on the outside? Sure is.
where your cooks are gonna make the food for you. These are the boilers. What, is a, what does a boiler do? This boiler will heat up uh, water, so uh, keeps you nice and warm during the winter. Uh, goes to a uh, DAV and goes through coils and then it blows hot air over those coils and that's how you get your heat. So let me get this straight. It boils water and then warm water goes through pipes and coils and then air blows over the coils, which makes the heat. Yes. yes. Uh, so these are water pumps and what they do, these are for the cold water and then these over here are gonna be for the hot water for the boilers that Gabe just talked about. So once the boiler makes hot water, it comes over to this pump and it's real strong. It'll push the water through the whole building so that it can make it to them coils for your heating and cooling. And this tank over here, that's from your chiller. That's where the cold water comes from. That's kind of like the boiler, but for the air conditioning part of it. That's super cool, Jason. <laughs> All right, Jason and Gabe, construction can be really expensive. How much does it cost to do a project like this? Uh, this project here, right around $20 million, plus or minus. $20 million? Mm-hmm, do you money. Do you pay for that? I'm paying in my taxes. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the taxpayers pay for this building. That's right. That's our moms and dads and the adults of the community. Jason, about how far along do you think we are in our Windermere project? I would say we're getting really close to being halfway done right now. So with the building up and you guys seeing all the inside stuff's going on, it's close to 